Right, this is Grade 3, Module 4, Lesson 2. And in this lesson, we're going to be decomposing and recomposing shapes to compare their areas. Now, that sounds pretty fancy, but basically what it's saying is, if you have this uh, rectangle right here, and let's call it a 2 by 6 rectangle, we can see that it's got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 units. It's 12 square units. And the idea would be we could decompose this rectangle, meaning we could get scissors and we can cut up these squares and rearrange them into a different shape. And we can say, hey, look at that. We now have the same 12 uh, square units, but now it's arranged in a different way, and let's make sure we actually have 12. Yeah, there it is, 12. And so we can see that we can take the same 12 tiles over here, the squares, and rearrange them so we can see that these two rectangles have the same area. And that's what they mean by decompose and recompose. It just means we can cut up those squares and move them around and make different shapes. So, in this case, each of these squares is considered a square unit. And what that means is we don't know if these are inches or centimeters or feet, so we call them units. So each one of these is a square unit because, and I'm going to zoom in here, um, what they're saying is this square is one unit going this way and one unit going this way. So from here to here is one, and from here to here it's one. One inch, one foot, one mile. We don't know, so we're going to call it one unit. And that's what that means. And because it forms a square, it's called a one square unit. All right, now let's zoom out. And there we go. So we're going to zoom out a little bit. And now we're supposed to count to find the area of each rectangle. So the fact that they're saying to count means our students are not expected to use some standard algorithm. Right now they're just supposed to count. And then circle all the rectangles with an area of 12 square units. So let's begin by counting. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And that's not too surprising because it was 6 by 2, so we know that this answer is 12 square units. And then we're going to count over here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So we can see that this is 9 square units, and that's not terribly surprising because we had 3 by 3. So 3 going this way, 3 going this way, so that makes 9. And then the last one, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So we have 12 square units. And that's pretty much what we would have expected because this is 2 by 6. All right, let's move on. Oh, wait, wait. We're not supposed to move on yet. What we're supposed to do is circle all the rectangles with, a square, with an area of 12 square units. So that's this one and this one. Now we can move on. Alright, on this one it says Colin uses square inch pieces to create these rectangles. Do they have the same area? So he used some squares, square inches, meaning they're an inch on each side. And first he made this one, which has an area of 8 square inches. And then over here, one, two, three, four, five, six. This one has an area of six square inches. So they do not, they do not have the same area. And I'll let you explain that. And our last slide for this video. So it says each square is one square unit. So count to find the area of the rectangle below. So we're going to count. And then draw a different rectangle. A 
different rectangle that has the same area. So let's begin by counting. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So this has an area of 16 square units. I, I did SQ for square and then U for units. All right, another way we could have written it is square units like that. Uh, your choice. Or we could, writ we could have written it out, S 16 square units, all right, like that. Now it says we're supposed to draw another rectangle that also has an area of 16 square units. So one way we could do this is I can make it going up by 2, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we could call this one the rectangle that we're looking for. And if we want to, we should, really, we should count to make sure we're right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So sure enough, that has an area of 16 square units. Now, students might have done um, one that's going up and down. All right, so, and that's okay too. They could have done this, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, right here. They could have done this one, which is eight by two, which is 16. It's up to them. And that is grade three, module four, lesson two, decomposing and recomposing shapes.